Right, I'm not going to take you through how we fill an anaesthetic machine with uh, anaesthetic agent. Uh, in this case, uh, with isofluorane, which is a liquid at room temperature and which then gets um, vaporized into a gas by uh, oxygen passing through the, uh, the vaporizer. So you'll notice first of all that the, the bottle of isofluorane has a purple um, keyed filling system. So each type of anaesthetic agent will have a different uh, selection of, of, of novels on the, um, on, on the top of it. And those novels correspond with a specific um, filler. So this is an isofluorane filler. So uh, you'll find that the um, the novels on the um, top of the bottle there will correspond with the uh, uh, pieces that have been cut out of the, uh, the the filler. And that's so basically you don't get um, different types of anaesthetic agent mixed mixed together. Now to fill an anaesthetic machine, it should be done in a a well ventilated area and what we do first of all is just take the, the top off the uh, the anaesthetic bottle and we then put in our keyed vaporizer so it'll only line up in, in one position and fix that on securely so <clears throat> at the other end of the um, the key fitting there's uh, holes here which allow the liquid from the bottle to go into the machine and this has a, a keyed filling on it as well um, to ensure again that the correct agent goes in the correct vaporizer. So here we have our vaporizer mounted on the, the anaesthetic machine and in order to, to fill this up, it's, it's currently empty, uh, we need to uh, first of all ensure that this valve at the top here is turned to the closed position so we just turn that clockwise as far as it will go and in this case it's it's already closed. Uh, we then unscrew this knob here on the side and that allows us to take this slide out there and then, then that enables us to insert the keyed end of the vaporizer so like that so it will only go in in one direction and then we tighten up this screw here to lock that into place we then open the valve here and now when we lift up our bottle of liquid that will actually start flowing into the the anaesthetic machine in this case i'm not actually going to fill the, the anaesthetic machine up but we basically um, invert the bottle and we then see bubbles of anaesthetic agent moving into the vaporizer and we check our level gauge on the side here to see when it's uh, filled up to the the maximum level once it's filled to the the maximum level we then close the valve on top of the machine here. We then unscrew the, the knob here and that enables us to take the keyed fitting out. We then need to replace the slide in the correct orientation. It won't go in that way, it will only go in one way. And then we screw up the knob on the side there to lock that into position. We then take our filler off the bottle of isofluorine and close the bottle up.